You could not have told me that the salt mine would be this exciting. <laughs> What's up, P Nation? Today is the third day on our great Romanian road trip, and we are in Brasov, but we are headed to... Rupia. So there's a really adorable small town there, and they have a citadel. And after that, we're going to the salt mines in Prade. And it's gonna be an amazing experience. Apparently, if you breathe the salt in, you like, get refreshed yes, from it. it's like a therapeutic thing. So we're thing. having like a spa day. Like that one hour later, we're at the citadel of what's this town? Citadel. Town's? Citadel. <laughs> what's this town called? Rupia. Rupia. Oh, and on the way, I don't know if you guys saw, but the rice terraces are like overgrown now. Not rice terraces, but the terrace farming. So it's really interesting yeah. because when we were in China, and Vietnam, it was like a, still using those terraces. So it's just interesting to see what they look like after they just been left. This time they're like feet. Yeah. yeah. So the Rupia Citadel is one of the oldest archaeological sites in all of Romania dating back to 5000 BC. The first documented attestation to the citadel was in 1324 when the Saxons revolted against King Charles I of Hungary and took refuge here at Rupia Citadel. Ooh, these beams that we're walking on are like really old so they're super bouncy. <laughs> I feel like I'm going to fall through at any second. I can't believe they let you go through this thing all by yourself. When invading forces came into the city, all the residents would come here and like camp out, and this is where they would hold siege. And this is the gigantic well that they would get water from for the next, I don't know, month, month and a half until the people left. So now we're entering the second wall of this fortress, and apparently this whole fortress was destroyed by the Turks in 1421. <laughs> and they have all these placards that are dating back to all these different sieges. And we were just talking like, wouldn't it be terrible to be stuck in here during a siege and then you see your house below you being taken over? Well, that was amazing. I feel more educated about Romanian history and now we're gonna go get some lunch. Okay, and now you're seeing us. It's actually been two hours since we last saw you. We were looking for restaurants in that small town we're in. However, people don't really eat out in Romania, so we had to look on the map and go to a different town to find a restaurant. So now we're here at, I don't know how to say it, Nairobi Kent, I think. Okay, so we got two courses. The first is guyash, which the only reason why I know about guyash is because my best friend from back home is Hungarian, and her family always makes guyash, at least I know about it from her. So it's like a tomatoey carrot potato beef stew and it is just so good. It's like one of those soups that like really warms you up and like makes you feel all hearty and wholesome. So I got just like a fried chicken type of schnitzel thing with mashed potatoes and Zach ordered what we thought was chicken. It actually might be like chicken hearts or gizzards or livers. I think it's chicken livers. 
He didn't mean to do that. <laughs> I've never had a liver in my life. I don't even know what this is, to be honest. But we're gonna try. It has the consistency of chicken. It's actually not that bad. Although I'm not sure what it tastes like, but not chicken and not pork and not beef. Whew, I am <laughs> so full. Even though we didn't eat the chicken livers. We had the mashed potatoes and the yeah. goulash was amazing. It really was. Like, plus they gave us like a half a loaf of bread <laughs> to like eat with it. We're pretty full. We are pretty full. <laughs> now we're gonna jump, jump in the car and head one hour to the salt mine. And we made it to the small town. We have like three minutes for the bus to leave, so we gotta go get our tickets and go. This is really weird. We're like so far underground, and you couldn't really see like where we were going because it's just this one tunnel that leads in, one tunnel that leads out. It's just big enough for one bus. So I felt like we were a worm going down, down like a hole or something, you know? It was really weird, and it's really cold down here. Farther. Apparently it's 200 steps. <gasps> Going into the underground. I feel like we're in the upside down right now. Oh my gosh. And we just keep going farther down and down and down. Yeah. You could not have told me that the salt mine would be this exciting. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so apparently it's super salty in here and it's good for your lungs. So it's like super therapeutic. If you spend like three to four hours in here, you come out breathing better. That's the theory. We we'll see if it actually happens. <laughs> Yeah, this place is like a play place. There's like bounce houses behind me. There's zip lines everywhere. It's really a place for kids to come and play. Feeling it? I feel like my lungs. Are they healing? I don't know. I can't, I, I can't healing? really say. This place is huge. And they even have a cafe down here and picnic tables. A lot of people are just sitting down here at the picnic tables having lunch. stuff to do down here but there's a lot of people just like sitting around with coats and blankets and like earmuffs on because it is very cold down here but they're down here for the healing effects alone that's really really cool tastes like salt. you did not just taste that it's like these salt waves are coming in it's like waves of salt that you're walking on It's a chapel. It's really weird because we're eating pretzel sticks with salt on them while breathing in the salt. So we're like super salty today. Are we so dehydrated? I don't know what's going on. Okay, so it's not quite a spa day, which I've never actually had, so I don't even know what that is. But it's very therapeutic. You can like pay for a massage chair, but all these swings and like laying down on tables and things, it's all free. And it's entertainment because there's kids playing. We're getting orange juice. We've gotten our therapy on. <laughs> My sinuses are feeling great. I'm like actually stuffy, so I'm the opposite really? of you. Yeah, oh. but I mean, opposite maybe effect. maybe it hasn't set in yet. Maybe mine's like maybe. sets in after. Right. Yeah. So we're gonna wake up tomorrow like a new person. Yeah. and we thought we were going to the bus, but I think we're lost. I don't think it's the bus. 
they've emptied out into like a second level and there's a huge like gigantic, like it could serve like a thousand people restaurant right behind <laughs> us. What? You have a wedding in here. You really could. <laughs> Okay, they just dropped us off right back there. The bus ride was like 10 minutes maybe. And now we're about to hop in the car and go an hour and a half to... I think you pronounce it Sigisora, I think. Sounds like a dinosaur. But that's where we're spending <laughs> the night tonight and gonna have dinner there. made it to Sigasora. We went to a salt mine and a citadel on top of a hill. What more could you ask for? <laughs> Today has been awesome. We're really looking forward to day four of the Romanian road trip. Yay! But first we gotta get in our car and go. Okay, so apparently when all the- It's a mine. Wait. <laughs> 